I probably that nam the canonis urgent surgical procedure. After several torture from Nigerian secret police DSS operatives, lawyer it's your for hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Lawyer, don't nam the cano the, the ten leader of indigenous people of Biafra, I poor barrister if I for has again raised the alarm over the threatening health condition of Kano in the Department of State Service DSS custody. It your first said that Kano needed an urgent advanced medical treatment and surgical operation in his ear. The lawyer, why giving update after the Monday's visit to Kano in Abuja by his legal team led by Chief Mike Zuke Mesan, said that Kano bitterly lamented the non provision the non provision of proper medical care. To the barrage of life threatening illness he was faced with. Now, according to Geoffrey, the major concern and threatening aspect of the problem was the fact that DSS has no adequate medical facilities to treat Carlos the threatening health condition as he seriously lamented about several pains, particularly on his left ear. Geoffrey said that Kano also recounted that a previous scan at the instance of the state security services revealed that he must undergo an advanced surgical procedure to repair his left ear drum that has become greatly impaired by the several torture and beating he received from agent of the Nigerian government when he was forcefully kidnapped in Kenya and the savagely renditioned back to Nigeria in June 2021. He said that generally Union do needs urgent advanced medical treatment and the surgical operation to address his threatened head condition especially on his left ear. He narrated how the DSS doctor had a fatically told him that if after 45 days from November 18, 2022, when he was examined, his case had not improved, then he must undergo immediate surgery to save whatever remained of his left ear. He lamented that several reminders and pleas that DSS carried out their own medical doctor's instruction have met a brick wall. Being held in solitary confinement, the DSS had also bluntly refused him access to his private doctor for independent medical assessment as ordered by the court of law. Our legal Iroko Zukeme Penstein Kingley took comprehensive note of Onyendu's entire medical concern and has immediately sworn into action with full legal initiatives to forestall any untoward eventualities. Ejo 4, however, noted that the suit the legal team had earlier filed to compare the DSS and the its director general to allow Kano access to his medical doctors and the medical records comes up this week before the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja. Abuja, 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 fake Abuja. Fake Abuja. Everything is all about Abuja. Criminals from pit of hell. Criminals from pit of hell. Nigerian government are criminals. Their judiciary are criminals. I've said it before. There's no judiciary in Nigeria. There's no constitution. Their constitution is fake. Their judges are fake. The appeal court are fake. The so-called Supreme Court is fake. Every court in Nigeria is fake. As far as it's this in Abuja, they are all fake. We have to tell you the things the way it is. Buhari government is a fake government. And that is how Tinubu government will be. The same thing goes to Atiko's government. For people, I don't know for that one. But I'm telling you today, 
that Nigeria has no judiciary. Nigeria has no constitution. Everything is fake. A country where the president continues to disable Qatar, being that he's above the law. If he's above the law, why should the citizens not be above the law? This is what we are talking about here. This man is a man that the so-called court has released. And somehow, British government and their counterpart in Nigeria has continued to keep him in communicado. And at the same time, the American government, they are not doing anything. Because why? Because American government is BS. I've said it. There's nothing to hide. They're beating his BS. Can't you see what is happening? Ever since he took over office, problem and problem is happening in African countries. While Trump was there, this was not like this. No so much killing. We have to say the things the way it is. Suffering of Nam the Kano after Compton Court has asked him to, be, to him to be released. And even the so called United Nations, they don't know their job. United Nations is fake. I'm telling you here, they are fake. We have continued to keep quiet because of Mas Nam the Kano, where he is, not because we are coward. I'm saying this, I will continue to say it. Buhari is a terrorist. There's no how terrorists can obey court order. There's no how terrorists can obey anything. Everything he has continued to recruit in Nigeria, governance, he is terrorist. Is it Patami? Is it Malami? These are all terrorists. From Sharia law to civil law. Shame, Nigeria. You have nothing to offer. You continue to run the new Nigeria. What are you the new Nigeria? The new Nigeria are talking about is it the new Nigeria that cannot obey court order? Or what? Or is it another Nigeria that is going to use the fair constitution made by the Northerners that they have continued to cause problems in Nigeria? We have to say that this is the way it is. No doubt, I don't, I'm not against anybody who wants to go for election. Neither will I tell anybody to go, not to go to election or to go to election. But what I'm saying here is that the constitution that they are using through this election is fake. It's a fake constitution made by the Northerners to suit them. Upon that, they have continued to disobey that constitution. Buhari is a fool. I have said it. He's a big fool. He's a complete fool. That was why he was thrown stone in the north. In his own country place. Because he's a fool. A man who openly brings terrorists into this country is a complete fool. And he will continue to disobey court order because those of them who is keeping mass in the is the capas. People like IBB. Even that you are seeing there, he is part of them. Buhari is part of them. Malami is just a chaff whom they are using to fulfill the atrocities. And who are these people adding them? The British government. Of course, they are the ones adding them. I said it from the beginning, British government are BS. They are criminally minded. After that, resources are consigned in Niger Delta, in Ibo Lande, both the one they newly find in the north. <laughs> they will continue to keep this country tight. And anybody who is trying to frustrate them, they will do everything possible to keep. But they are going to see something. If anything happens to that man, not this is not about man. We cannot start doing something bad when. We have not, maybe, see any single move. Just like what happened of recently, the brother later came out and says it was a lie. So what do you expect people to do? When the brother, the same mother, came out to say that it was a lie, it was not poison. Look, we have to have evidence of what they have done to him before we swing to action. That's what I believe. But at the same time, the lawyer should tell us what is going on. Is it only the Mazdan and the Kali is sick? Or is there something they are doing to him that we are not aware of? Because first and course, a British government can do anything. They are criminally minded. I've said it before. They can do anything. We must not allow Mazdan and the Kali to continue to suffer like this. We must do something. We must do something. I'm telling you, whatever it is today that I hope you be the side. I am going to run it along with them because Mazinam the Khan is not the kind of life that you used to play. That is the truth. 
It's quite unfortunate, but I think I've come to the end of this news.